If you're looking to start making games, it's very difficult to find a place to start. With infinite amounts of YouTube videos and the ever-growing industry, the journey of learning how to develop games seems like a never-ending expanse. But not to worry, because hopefully this video guides you in the right direction on how you can start. Now it's time to choose your style. Before you start doing any research or programming, you should first decide what kind of games you want to make. Every game is built within something called a game engine, which is the software used to build and piece together game components, such as graphics and code. Every engine better fits certain styles and platforms, like Unity, for example, has 2D and mobile game capabilities, while Unreal has better AAA graphics and 3D games. Once you decide what kind of game you're interested in making, then it's time to start learning an engine. For the purpose of this video, I'm only going to focus on Unity, and here's why. There's always this big ol' explosive fight in the comments about which engine is better. I believe both Unity and Unreal are amazing engines, but I personally believe Unity is better when it comes to beginners. Unity has much more available documentation and free tutorials online to help with almost any problem you'll come across. Unreal has very limited documentation, and in my experience, almost all forums result in half answers and even no answers at all, leaving me lost and confused. When it comes to learning a game engine, you're going to come across a lot of issues and you want as much help as possible to help you along your journey as possible. So if you need documentation, Unity has it there ready and available for you on their website, plus some video tutorials for some of the more basic things. There's a huge myth that you need to memorize thousands of coding algorithms and other basement dwelling coding magic to be a good developer, but that couldn't be farther from the truth. I and all other game developers are always looking up codes and forums and videos because memorizing everything would waste so much time that nobody would ever create anything. Because of this, the available documentation with Unity is my savior and could be yours. Now it's time for the code. Unity runs off of C-sharp and is a language you must learn to build the mechanics of your game. There are several free options when it comes to learning C-sharp. A good option that helped teach me is Brackies here on YouTube, or you can find little C-sharp tutorials online when you do your searching. If you're not interested in much coding, you can go to Unity's asset store and get a visual scripting plugin if you're okay with a small investment. But I highly suggest you learn C-sharp, especially if you're interested in creating larger projects or even joining a AAA studio in your future. C-sharp, in my opinion, is one of the easiest languages to learn, and the best way you learn is just start creating. If you use visual scripting, it can get very cluttered and it kind of limits you on some of the stuff you can do. It is getting better, but still limiting. Don't let yourself get stuck on small glitches while you're learning because you'll have them here and there and everywhere. Everybody gets them. It's a learning process. Just build project after project, trying new mechanics and systems out to really familiarize yourself with the language. The more you do, the more you'll learn and the better your products will become over time. Now you have a starting place to go make some games. Whip out your notebook and start writing some ideas down and go start creating. Make yourself a plan of what it is you want to create and as you run into problems, search for videos and forums to find your solution. Try to stay away from many videos that give you a step-by-step -step process on how to make a specific game. These are good if you're burnt out and you want to do something for fun, but the learning process is much slower doing this compared to coming up with your own idea and problem solving issues that come up along your journey with your project. I hope this video helped you find a good path to follow for your journey into game dev, and we'll be posting more game dev tutorials like this to help you further your knowledge. If you liked the video and want to see more, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.